Good Tuesday, good Tuesday morning of the 16th week. I want to read you from Matthew, okay, with the gospel. This is, let me read it, okay? I don't, want, I don't want to mess it up. Let me just read it here, okay? While Jesus was speaking to the crowds, his mother and his brothers appeared outside, wishing to speak with him. <clears throat> Someone told him, your mother and your brothers are standing outside asking to speak with you. He said in reply to one of, the one who told him, who is my mother? Who are my brothers? Stretching out his hand toward his disciples, he said, here are my mother and my brothers. For whoever does the will of my heavenly father is my brother and sister and mother. Now, you know what our Lord is doing there in that point is he is radicalizing the human. He is radicalizing what it is to be a brother, son. See? What constitutes the family of God. See? See? Whoever does the will of my heavenly father is my brother and sister and mother. He transcends the blood relationship. So any believer, anyone who believes and does the will of the father is a member of the family of God, is a brother, mother, sister, to each other in Christ and through Christ. Now, see, we're used to this, this thought in Christianity. We've had 2,000 years of it. At that time, they must have thought he was nuttering a fruitcake because the key to that time, the key moral, moral religious, religiously founded morality was founded on the, you know, the uniqueness of the family and the obligations that went with the family. <coughs> Fundamental. And your family, your mothers, your fathers, your brothers, your sisters, your cousins, etc. You worked. In, I told you that a million times. Your concentric circles outward. That was extremely important because your obligations were immediate. They were immediate to those who you are in blood relationship with, not somebody simply who believes what you believe. That's just the truth. I didn't say that right, but you get what I'm saying. That's the truth. You have you love your own first. Okay? And the circle, the concentric circles of love are based on blood. Who are your family members, you'll see? And the most intimate are your brothers, sisters, mother, father, grandparents. <coughs> you share the bloodline, and in sharing the bloodline, you share the obligation to sustaining, protecting, and fostering that family. And out, concentric circles outward, cousins, relatives, but also neighbors. But it, to degrees, in a sense, of removal. Intimacy and removal. Nobody's closer than your family. I saw that in my parents. They were very, very strong in that regard. My father, even more so. Very, just intense commitment to his family. And I think it's in my blood, too. You know, I think it is. Um, when you're a kid, of course, everybody's family is better than yours. You know, all that's nonsense, you know. But as I... When I joined the order and I began to get away from my family distance-wise, I began to see them more intimately. I saw them, and the guys in the outfit in the order really loved my parents, and they saw them, and they would share that. I told you that. They would say, what wonderful parents you've got, wonderful family, etc." And I'd say, yeah. And then I began not to imagine, but to actually see how special they were. And the older and older I've gotten in my lifetime, I have learned to love and respect my family more and more and more. I want to, be, I want to honor them. I want to be as good at what I've been called to do and be and that they were. I want to honor my family and my family name. My mother said, I told you, my mother said when I left home, don't disgrace the family name. Well, I hope not to disgrace it, but to honor it. I want to always honor it. That's the truth. As my father did by being a great waiter in a restaurant and, you know, thinking in his functions and his parental role and his spousal role. My father was a faithful husband and father. 
and he was a great waiter. <laughs> he was good at his tasks, you see. You got to see that. My mother was a superb teacher, but she was also a faithful wife and mother and a terrific grandmother, you see. <laughs> Each has their own style, their own way. See? Anyway, the radicalization of the gospel is that we are to be to each other, mother, brother, sister, and bro uh, sister, you know, brother and sister, mother, father, grandparent, not by blood, but by the faith. We are brought together in our humanity under God and especially in our singular body of Christ, in the singular body of Christ, the church. We are brother and sister to each other. You know, you really, you see that in, in religious orders too, whatever that may be worth, you know. There is a very, very special bond you have with the men in the outfit, the guys in the order. And I'll show you one more just for the sake of it. Your classmates, the men that you entered with and studied with remain with you all your life. And it's, there's an expression, he's my classmate. And that is not just a historical fact. There's an intimacy in that. When I speak of Terry, my classmate Terry, or Joe, just make an air, Jim Barry, who just died. He's just Mike Solano, Tom Joyce. Very special, very flav. You just, I can't explain it. It isn't just that we were fellow members of a community, an institution. Flav was not, he was older than us. He was our, he was both our vocation director, but then provincial, but he was 15 years older than me, 20. But I'm taking my classmates. There is something extraordinarily personal about that. I would say you are as close to your classmates in general as you are to your own family at home, your blood family. And you can hear it, you hear it in the softness of the rhetoric. When the, I'd say, I know, they said, do you know Father Christopher? Like, yeah, Terry, my classmate. So I'm like, I don't, why did I throw that last part? Because it's intimate. He's my classmate, I'm proud of him. He's my classmate. I say that about Joe, sadly. Joe's my classmate, see? That's special. And I grieve when they die. Fortunately, Joe and Terry are still very much alive. But Jim Barry just died. We weren't close friends, friends but we were members of the same class. We were classmates. See? It's, it's more than emotional. There's an intimacy of shared life. That's the way to put it. We started together in 59, we got ordained in 69. Those 10 years, even more, those 10 years, we were bonded together as a community of faith and vows. We're classmates. Be surprised, not just us, you, not just my client, to anybody. You can see an old passionist. If you ever bump into one of them, say, who are your classmates? Believe me, he's going to start giving names. He's going to say, what? How could I remember that so many? He'll tell you right away, boom, boom, boom. They're my classmates. Yeah, four of them are dead. Two are still alive. <laughs> yeah, that's the truth. Say, who's your classmates? <laughs> it's a community of friends. Yeah, see? So when they ask, you know, who are my brothers and sisters? Those who were in the community with me, who joined together, who heard the will of God and followed it. The will of God calling us together in a fraternity of passionist life. That's the truth. See, I resonate to these kind of texts because in many ways I've lived it. Even alone here, I live by myself last home with God. 25 years I've been living here by myself completely. Long, 35 years. Still, in my heart, I'm with my community. In my heart, I'm with my classmates. The distance, the time, the place doesn't make any difference to me. They're my classmates. I grieve for Jim Barry, who just died. I grieve. He sits in my mind all the time. I feel his loss. I haven't lived with Jim in 50 years. Makes no difference. Okay? Makes no difference. Anymore... Then I grieve for my uncle and aunt. I grieve for my cousin Harry, even though I haven't lived with them at all in 50 years. They're my blood. Well, Jim Barry's my classmate. 
You see, that's the story here. I see that in the God. Who are my brothers and mothers? Those who do the will of God. And See? Whoever does the will of my heavenly Father, my classmates who joined, who heard the word of God to be a passionist, and we are passionists together. <laughs>